The learning platform has enabled staff um, to really develop what we want to develop here, which is 24-7 interaction between pupils, staff and parents. It's so much more easy to access class lists, access parental information and pupil information as well. The learning platform makes life much more flexible for staff. For instance, there was a member of staff last week who had a music lesson to go to and they didn't need to, to worry about staying in school or, or missing things or, or whatever. It meant that they could go and do that music lesson and then go home, presumably have their tea and then start work when they wanted to work. And this works the same for members of staff who have children, young children in particular. The good thing about um, RVLE is that we can create interactive quizzes which basically mark themselves so that can save us so much time with homeworks, with end of unit assessments. The um, quizzes are built as a web page. The elements are put in onto the page we can choose from um, a text box where the pupils can enter a word, a multiple choice question so they select the right answer. You can do a drop down menu which is basically the same thing where they select the correct answer. We can add pictures, we can add text, we can add sound, we can add videos. It's up to you how you set it up. RVLE looks at the answer that they've selected and adds up the score and instantly gives them feedback. Because it marks itself, you're saving so much time in the marking, especially if you have like three or four year eight classes, year seven classes, it's all marked for you. So you can just copy and paste the marks from one spreadsheet into your own spreadsheet for your own records. The pupils have access to the quiz at any time. So if a teacher's off work or they're on the course or anything like that, then it can just be set by the VLE. So the quiz can be there, the pupils are told where to go and find the quiz and they can just do it. So any teacher can set the quiz for them. I can log on at home and beat the quizzes at home. Um, so it saves a lot of time. So, so anywhere that I can, I can get access to a computer, I can log on and create these quizzes. Online reporting saves us time because you don't have to take, make sure that you take your reports or whatever with you wherever you're going. You can just log in, even if you're, you're on a computer in a different classroom or from home, and it, everything's there for you. You can't leave your reports in the car or at home, or if you went to a meeting and you, know, you left them in your bag. We just click on the link, and we can then choose the group that we're going to enter our reports from. Another um, feature of this, actually, is it automatically brings up their, their photograph. So if it's in year seven and you're doing their first um, reports and you're not quite sure maybe if you've only you know, taught them a few times, you've actually got their photograph there as well. So you go across, you find the pupils, you click on the drop down box and then you choose a statement that fits their effort or their achievement, their attainment and their coursework or their classwork. Um, we also have the behaviour in there. The target grades for them is automatically put in as well, so you don't have to go and find that information that's already there for you. And that literally is it. So after five or six clicks on the button, then the report for that, that pupil's done. I click on the submit button and the data is then ready for the parents to view. It, it's all safe, it's all secure. and. Um, yeah, it, sa it saves a lot of time, but it's also much cleaner and more efficient. One time I'd done a set of reports and then we found out that um, the school policy was that they were all going to be done in black ink and I'd written them in blue ink, so I had to uh, redo them. Whereas with this system, that wouldn't happen. And then another time I was taking a set of reports to a form tutor. It was. Uh, in the summer term, the end of the end of term, lovely day. Um, year 11, so about to leave, and I uh, got a little bit wet by accident. I think there was a water balloon getting as I was walking round a corner, and the reports just got drenched. So again, the paper got all wrinkled, and I had to rewrite them out again. But um, all in good fun, <laughs> but a lot of time. <laughs> Another aspect of the VLE is that we can actually set up a lesson plan which has the objectives, the um, outcome, the learning outcomes. It has, you can attach resources to, the, to that um, 
um, lesson plan um, and that lesson plan then is a basically a little page that's on the VLA it can be accessed by any pupils any teachers so again if you're not in school you're in a course um, you can actually basically set a lesson via your lesson plans as a faculty we can build our own bank of resources which then could be used by all the teachers within that faculty Individual teachers can do one part of the lesson plan, another teacher can do another part of the lesson plan, which basically then we can share around the department, so that saves a lot of time. Again, they can be copied, they can be edited at any time. So you're not building things from scratch. Everything's there, ready and waiting for you to just go in, add a little bit of editing to it, and it becomes a new assessment. You can set this as homework as well. So, so any, any course that they're missing, the pupils can log on at home, they can have a look, oh, I haven't done um, AO4 of my unit one, I can go in, they can open the lesson plan, have a look what they need to do, open the resources, complete the resources, and then um, you can submit it electronically to us. So then also we can give them feedback as well. We have lesson plans stored in, in our faculty area on the VLA, um, but we also have the facility to do quick issue work. Now, the quick issue work is something that will then just go out to the pupils that are in that particular group. I could maybe explain things a little better to them or have it differentiated. Now, you can do that with the other lesson plan, but it literally just takes seconds to do this. Sometimes, even if you have got a lesson plan, I will do a quick issue because I can attach extra resources that they might not have brought with them that day. Um, they can then access the work anywhere. They could open that work up and they're going to know what we're going to do today. So they might want to read through um, and prepare for the lesson or they might want to make sure that they bring their folders with them, that kind of thing. Once I've actually created it, what I could do is issue it to two or three different teaching groups at the same time. So you're not attaching all the resources again and again. You don't have to photocopy you know, any resources that you might have. The pupils just have it directly with them. They have it online. Um, it saves me going through, say, pupils are off on school trips or that they're unwell. Uh, the pupils that keep up to date with what the rest of the class are doing. So that saves an immense amount of time in the long run um, when they come back into school and, you know, making sure that they, they feel as if they're still right up to date with the, with the class. And, of course, the communication. Rather than pupils having to try and find me or if I'm teaching or if I'm busy, um, you can still communicate by this. Um, and it's, it's very personalised.